Okay, Midnight, what did you learn in Let's Play in class yesterday? Never record excessively to avoid getting burnt out. Good! And how long has it been since you recorded the last episode? Five whole minutes! Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. Welcome back to the world of Mario & Luigi Partners in Time! In the last episode, we wrapped things up in the Vim Factory. In this episode, we're headed to Yoshi's Island in search of Bowser Jr. Not Bowser Jr. Excuse me, or thank God he isn't in this game, but Baby Bowser, who has escaped to Yoshi's Island with our two Cobalt Star Shards. And okay, Yoshis are always a happy, happy experience, a happy, happy group to be around. So maybe things will be a bit more cheery this time around. And we got some menacing footprints, so maybe not entirely cheery, but there's still hope, right? We got some cheery music at least. Let's just see if we could uh, get acquainted with one of them and see if we get. Oh, of course, we get a badge. Always seems to be getting badges. Like as soon as I thought the EXP was the extra badge was unnecessary, or whatever, whatever. Uh, it's the badge we saw in the shop before. I kind of now that I have the EXP badge with me, I kind of don't want to replace it. So, I guess it's just here for the heck of it. Uh, but it doesn't seem like anyone else is around. So, uh, we do have a bean spot right here, though. That's very nice. We head on out here. Just explore this thing. It's uh, kind of fitting that we have uh, a Yoshi area. Uh, Sierra Nora's big egg, now open for viewing. Okay, great. Um, it's uh, very fitting that we have a Yoshi area when we're in search of baby Bowser. It's as if they're referencing something. Hmm, I can only imagine. Uh, we head up here. There is a little thing that we could glide over, but of course I messed up because Luigi uh, did not make the jump, or rather, it was impossible to make the jump. I should have been doing the spin jump from the start, but I got preoccupied with beans and trying to accomplish things that are doomed from the start. Like, let's play! No, not really. Uh, at least hopefully not. <laughs> let's just fly over here, hit this, uh, just get 10 coins. And what is in here? Uh, this door right here, you cannot get through. I like how there's just the existence of doors means that it's locked. Even there's just like a block of wood there. And hello. But no door equals a door that we can go through. Oh, what a lemon. And this film ain't cheap, neither. I was primed for a scoop, and all I got are whiskers and a couple of sap babies. That's one way to word it, I guess. Huh, me? Kylie Koopa, Ace Reporter, the Koopa Chronicles best. And now it's time for past midnight to break the illusion by noticing that his mic isn't working. Whoopsie doopsie. Well, that is unfortunate. <sighs> well, midnight, what did we learn in Let's Play in class this time? Make sure your mic is turned on. Oh boy, always something. I'm gonna have fun editing later. Kylie Koopa, Ace Reporter, the Koopa Chronicles best. You know about the giant egg, y'all. Why, it just appeared. And this dame's got a hunch it's concerned connected to the shrooms. I thought I'd get the, I'd get the straight dope from the locals, but... Is that even a phrase the straight dope? This place is like a morgue. Where is everybody? And speaking of fishy, this jump platform positively reeks of mysteries. Reeks of it. But I hopped on there and I didn't get doodly squat. I wonder if I'm too heavy for it. Say, do me a favor and hop up there, will ya? Baby. Babies. So yeah, even though it's a two-person platform, the big bros are not able to step on it. Even just Mario on his own is unable to step on it. So let's go ahead and get the babies and have them hop on up here. Ritzy work. Hey, I found all the Yoshis. See anything? Shh, they're making the rules. What's the word? No, we must fall! What? What? Ooh, this reporter just got that front page fever, heart. Hello! <sighs> Pretty sure that was a good translation. Mm. 
What a scoop! It's huge! Exclusive! Stop the presses! Oh, raspberries. My scoop snacked me. Heart. Yeah, it's also ooky and gooky. Coming through. Well, looks like the munchers have become the munchies. Huff, huff. I haven't been this jazzed in a blarg's age, heart. I can see the headline now. Monster Yube from Shroob on... I just got the joke that the Y is for Yoshi and the Oob is for Shroob. My god, I'm stupid. Uh, Monster Yube from Shroob on Ravenous Rampage. Tops. I thought it was just a weird alien name. Why, I saw an evil-looking magic Koopa head into that building just now, but... Gotta concentrate on this story. This should be my big break. Well, we know what that's all about, and it was just like, I hate that spray of like the Yoshi's quivering on the ground. It's so single depressing looking, because Yoshi's are always so happy and pappy and all that jazz, and see them in such distress was just really uncomfortable, and yeah, they got all stinking devoured by that monster, and just the darkness just keeps on coming. They got this cheery music at least, but it's not really a cheerful time. Snacks! Must find snacks! Score! It doesn't look like anyone's home, so I'll just help myself to the goods. You gotta wonder why this place is so empty, though. Whoa, you hairy jerks again! Chase me all the way to this stupid island, have you? How's that? You want the Cobalt Star Shards back? Hey, I got my own problems. I'm on a snack run for the Prince Bowser. He's on clifftop. He's on the clifftop. I don't have time for you guys. These snacks ain't gonna snack on themselves. Well, that's unfortunate, but we do have another platform to hop up on top of. And get some items, at least. No eggs, but... Oh, we did get eggs. I was gonna try to say no food, but we got smash eggs, so I guess that is a food, though. Smash eggs is a new bro's item. It is probably my least favorite of the bunch, just because it's not all that helpful. It can be kind of helpful, but it's just, like, kind of Akko Taco to use and whatnot. Yuck! That was also very chilled yak. And wow, that was quick. Whee! Hey, what's your beef, pal? I'm not tasty enough for you. I'm Prime Koopa, you snob. It's always thinking funny whenever one of those situations happens like that. You're lucky I'm in a rush. I gotta get those these snacks to the prince pronto, or I would whip that snooty pink tail for you. I never really get it when we meet an enemy like that and we're just like not going to fight it as soon as we encounter it because like I don't know what is stopping us from just starting a fight with it it's not like it's insanely massive or anything like that yeah it's eating a bunch of guys but I don't know what's, start, what's stopping us from just going like beep, 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 eh, wrong game but whatever like you know what I'm saying it's just like I don't know what prevents us from fighting him right away and very large very creepy egg viewing fee five coins uh, kind of awkward for people who could just walk onto the screen or whatever. Maybe the line was like right here originally. We couldn't actually see it or whatever. But yeah, this seems to be the egg that you hatched from and now he's terrorizing the village. Great. So we're just going to make our way in here and we're going to end the episode off. No, not really. We're going to continue. Gonna hit this block and get two more smash eggs. Not just an egg, it's a smash egg. A super smash egg. Head on over here, we got a little shadow of a block right there, but uh, no block to see until we get up here, and we knock it down. Kind of where we hit it from the bottom, just from the top, just so we can hit it from the bottom. We get 100 coins! Wow, that's a very good one. 
run on over here. I like the diagonal sprite for Mario. I don't want to just look dorky and weird. Uh, got nothing. Oh, yeah, there is a bean spot. Go ahead and get that. Bean spots are very, very frequent, so you should always be on the lookout for them. And Magic Koopa's still going. Kamek, rather. I don't know about you guys, but I always thought Kamek was a girl. I don't know why. Just like, I guess the way they sound in like Mario Party is like, wah, wah. it's like a lady voice. But the Magic Koopas, or the Toadies, I guess their official name. But since I played Mario Party 5 first, Mario Party 5, they called uh, the Magic Koopas Kamek. It was just the Kamek capsule. And then the Toadies, they were called Magic Koopa. So it was really awkward. And that's why I referred to them as so kind of weird, but whatever. Uh, yes, those are Yoshi cookies. Mostly just Yoshi crumbs, it seems. Kamek may have pilfered them all. Let's go! Let's go! And of course, Luigi's got to get a snack in. Get that, and that, and that, and one more for Luigi! Oh. Oh. I mean, I guess it'll be mine in a couple of years. Oh, I love him. He says, thank you very much. This is very cute. Uh, we got ourselves a warp pipe over here, though I don't know where we would have gotten separated at this point in time, but whatevs. Uh, get that. Pick him up. And get ourselves another singing bean. Jeez, just like throwing them at us. Not that I'm complaining, but whatever. Jump up in here and head on down. Got a bit of a different song this time around. Um, we got our objective, like, where we want to go. Kind of like that they, you sort of have a vague idea of what you need to do by just looking at the map. You see, oh, you see a warp pipe up there. That's where you need to go. Never too daunting, but it is pretty, uh, big when you try and get through the entire thing. Boy, you doofuses just get on a Koopa's tail and stay there, don't ya? Well, try this on for size. Well, that's awkward. And again, we can see the fourth wall somehow. Oh no, we're trapped. If only there was a new mechanic right here and now that would help us get out. Zip zap zow. Unless those overalls are fireproof, you're gonna barbecue, you weenies. Give up now. You really think you're tough? Then make it to the cliff top, losers. I'd love to see it. Yoshi's Island Spring Water. A healthy, yummy drink ideal for growing kids. Remember, drink like a pig and your belly will get big. A mechanic from the first Paper Mario, not Paper Mario, from the first Mario and Luigi game, uh, there you go. Uh, originally it was used just for Mario, but now it's used for the babies. Well, look at this tight guzzle. As you can see, if baby Mario stands in the water, he drinks. You can see that number in the little bubble doohickey near baby Mario's head. Yes, well, that is the number of water drops you can spit up. Disgustable as it sounds. To get him to stop drinking, move him off the water. Yes, you can see Paper Mario is tubified now. If you would, press Y with all your speed. Maybe Luigi whacks his brother and makes him spit up. That is gross. Don't forget the number on the hammer icon shows spit up ammo. I advise spitting on everything you see. You advise spitting on everything you see? Okay. I'm just gonna walk over here and spit on this fire and we could go forward. Hooray! Just gonna get rid of this water droplets and now we could reunite them and be on our merry way. So we see the new mechanic here. Uh, even though it's not entirely new since it was in Superstar Saga, but it's new to us. Smash eggs, we get eight of them this time and we got ourselves some new enemies. Or rather some old ones. These are Pidgets from Super Mario Brothers 2. It's kinda weird that like, uh, excuse me. Uh, kinda weird how like it all worked out that Nintendo has the rights to the Mario 2 characters, even though it wasn't originally a Mario 2, a Mario game. Whatever, as you can see, they have that weird attack where, like, they sort of trick you out on who they're gonna attack, so it could be, uh, kind of Akotako in that regard. Uh, let's see. That right now. Uh, pretty basic enemy, it's just a matter of, uh, timing their jumps when the counterattack comes around. And we got ourselves another smash egg and a mushroom drop. Baby Mario gets a level up, level 10, which is very cool. Uh, that's looking pretty good. That's also looking really good. Uh, I think we're gonna go with attack. Six! Oh, yeah! And Baby Luigi, can you do just as well? Probably not, because you're Luigi, but we'll try it anyway. Um... Uh, defense is looking really good. Oh, speed's also looking really good. 
stash. Uh, of course, just one. Great. Uh, we're gonna throw the babies up here. And we got ourselves another new enemy. Don't worry about drilling a hole through the cloud. You'll, you won't fall right through. I uh, got more smash eggs. I really need to show off these smash eggs. Uh, let's see if I can get a first strike on them. There you go. That, and somehow it hurt the guy floating in midair. I don't know how that works, but whatever. Uh, this is a Narantula. You do not want to jump on them because if you hammer it, you kill him. Uh, he actually has spikes underneath, so don't do that. I think uh, some of them don't have spikes, but I guess it's just better to be safe than sorry on that sense. Uh, uh, jump, and we're good. Very, very quick fight. I like increasing the attack power just because uh, as long as you don't get hit, that's really all you need is good attack so you can finish up the fights quicker. Uh, jump up here. Get, uh, 20 coins. And a 1-up super. Very, very good. Just throwing the uh, items at us like left and right. Run down here. And reunite. Let's see. We got another one of these guys. Uh, land on it. So with all the things that they've been bringing back recently, like they just recently brought back Pauline. So that's not good spot, apparently. They recently brought back Pauline, made her like a prominent character, and I'm sure she's never going to leave now, now that she's uh, in a more modern game. Uh, something that I kind of like to see is, I kind of cool, like the original characters from Mario 2 made a return uh, as like actual characters and whatnot. So one of them has a sack and the other one doesn't. I assume that means like one of them has a present that we could uh, get from him. Uh, I guess we'll see. Do that little dance, and there you go. Uh, just him. Okay. Did we get a special item because of that, or no? Uh, it doesn't seem like it, so I don't know what the bag is all about. Uh, but yeah, I would like to see those characters make a turn. I don't even know what their names are, but like it would just be interesting like introducing new characters that people aren't very familiar with, but also kind of old characters as well that someone might like the reference to. Uh, I'm trying to think of other characters. Like, of course, I would always like to see Waluigi and get their own game or any actual game or whatever. Though it's probably never going to happen, but it's interesting that like they have these characters to work off of and whatnot. But Mino is all like, oh, Mario games aren't about the story. They don't need no story or anything like that. Just get the good old Mario and have him jumping around and stuff. Oh, uh, boy. I kind of wish uh, that wasn't always the case and whatnot, but this is not like... Uh, we get to see a bit more of a story like that in the RPGs, for example, and uh, in other spin-offs, but they're usually not made by Nintendo, so it's kind of, kind of makes you question if Nintendo's like the best ones to be making uh, these sorts of games in the first place, but that's a, real weird, that's a weird thing to say, I shouldn't be saying that. I guess I wouldn't want to see like Nintendo on any other console or anything like that, but whenever they do like hand off their properties uh, to other companies or any, like their sub-properties, like, uh, is it... Was it Majesco? Is it Majesco who makes uh, the Mario and Luigi games? Like, what's that logo that pops up? I think it is. Um, they do a good job with the Mario and Luigi games, and uh, whatever the company is that did Paper Mario, they do a good job with it. And uh, with Ubisoft's recent interaction with Mario and Rabbids, it was phenomenal. So I kind of wish that it just happened more frequently, or that Nintendo was willing to implement these ideas from these other companies in, within their own projects a bit more often. I know that uh, Miyamoto was actually kind of against having a story in Mario Galaxy, uh, but they sort of forced it in there without like his permission or something like that, or just tried to sneak it in there without him knowing. And just kind of weird how that all turns out, but whatever. I'm not one to criticize the great and almighty Miyamoto. I obviously don't know more than he does, or just that I don't know much more than any game designer, really, because I'm just the observer and the uh, person who experiences the product. I'm not an uh, actual developer or anything like that. Nor do I know anything about marketing, so whatever. Maybe I don't know anything at all. Uh, so you're gonna mess up this on... Excuse me, I was gonna try and mess it up on purpose, but I guess I'm just too good to mess up attacks like that. When he does the little jump in the air, that means it's gonna stop real quick before uh, swooping through you. So that's the only other variation of his attack, and I did not mean to do that. Uh, but other than that, he's a very simple enemy. Just like in here, there we go. Uh, just jump on him, and we're good. I think of like other obscure Mario characters that could appear in future games. The only one that comes to mind is Stanley the Bugman, but I don't think anyone's frothing at the mouth to see him again. Uh, let's see. Got any other bean spots real quick? We got this guy. Yeah, we do have a bean spot. Okay, so it's a good thing I checked. Uh, hit him. 
There you go. That's what they look like underneath. Uh, they could either be green with spikes or red without spikes. So uh, I would just recommend not even trying to jump on them because more often than not, you're going to get uh, poked in the booty. Okay, what do these contain? 10 coins and heart pants. Uh, let's see what that's all about. Heart pants are for the baby bros. Uh, heart cover pants that are cute and slightly increase heart points. Uh, HP and defense, but decrease attack. Um, it increases it by a lot, so I guess if you prefer defense, then this is the pants wear for you. I think we're gonna stick with what I got, though, because like I said, I prefer offense over defense. Uh, drill a hole in here, get another bean. And just run over here, get some water. Water, I just met her. There you go, go all the way up to nine, I believe, so... Hopefully we don't need too many right here. Not even sure where that's going. Oh, we need literally just one. Okay. Uh, how about the big bros go over here and hit this? Uh, kind of awkward that we couldn't see it, but whatever. And make that a block no longer transparent. Uh, did not mean to do that. I'm gonna spit on Luigi. Hooray! I spat on Luigi from like miles away. And you think uh, having Paper Mario land like that or just fall from such a high height would make him kersploosh, like a big old water balloon or something like that, but no. Looks super hilarious the way he's all tubby and everything, but uh, let's go over here. And we could reach this, thank you. Nothing else over here, so let's go on to this side. And gee, I wonder if we're going to find more progress. That seems to be the case. Got two mushrooms. And another bean. Beans, beans, they're good for your heart. I knew you would expect me to say this, but I did it anyway. Uh, what was to say? Yoshi's Island Beach, jump training ground. Here, men with mustaches practice spin jumps. Start at the far right, try to go, okay, cool. Uh, we can't reach up there, gonna get more beans. And jump over here. Uh, there's a bunch of fire, so it doesn't seem like we can actually do anything with this quite yet. And of course we need the babies, okay. Get on over here, little tykes. Uh, this area right here seems to be more, more of the same. Just a bunch of spiky puffballs. Oh, uh, we got more stinging smash eggs. I promise I will show the smash eggs before the episode ends. They're not that great, so I don't mind using them in a battle that is not a boss battle. Go ahead and do that, and hey, it actually reveals them all right there, so you can see what ones are spiking, which ones aren't, so... Oh, and we jumped on it, so when it's out of the battle and like, you don't know it's a spike enemy, you could jump on them. Okay, so that's got a little tactic right there. You can just reveal them earlier on. I don't think using the smash eggs when... Uh, okay, it's fine when using it uh, like this, so... Hold and release the button to kick falling eggs into the enemy. It's kind of a weird item and just like sort of wonky and whatnot. Uh, but it could do the job, I suppose, and if you do it well enough, you get a free item afterwards. And of course I fail at it. Time is just really sick and weird. Let's try it again. Uh, use another smash egg. Go ahead and flop it like that. Flop it like that. And like that. Uh, like that. There you go. And sometimes uh, an item will pop out of the egg right there, but it didn't happen that time around. Get all that. And smash egg one. Okay, not sure what the sparkle sparkle thing is about. Maybe that means like a rare drop from the enemy? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, and maybe that was like I received more experience for beating the enemy with an egg. I have no idea. One, two, three, four, five. That should be good enough. Head on over here. And kerpoo in that little log. Put that fire. Put out the fire, boy. And go over here. And hit this one. Very, very good. But uh, now I gotta go ahead and hit him a bunch more times so I could deflate him. Uh, just put your coins right here. And that's for to do, so we'll head on out and reunite with the boys. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I saw Bohemian Rhapsody. It was very, very good, and like I enjoyed it from uh, someone who didn't know the story of uh, any of the singers and stuff. So that was really cool. Uh, another thing I saw was like a Star is Born. 
None of these songs live up to the amazingness as The Greatest Showman, however. It's crazy to think that The Greatest Showman's almost a year old. Like, just time flew by so stinging fast, and the fact that I'm still obsessed with it, like, daily. Just something that I think about uh, on a daily basis. It is, without question, my favorite movie of all time. However, uh, I'm getting close to December 21st, which is when I watch uh, another one of my favorite movies of all time, which is The Disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya. Uh, I kind of wanted to watch the entire show uh, within this year, because I like to watch all of Haruhi in the month of December, but... I don't think I have the time, unfortunately, so I might just watch the Disappearance movie. Always a really good movie. I ordered it off of Funimation. I've been watching it online uh, for the past couple of years, but I wanted to have a physical copy of it. It was on sale for just $10, so I wanted to go ahead and grab it, but uh, it was unfortunately my order got put on hold because it sold out while I was purchasing. It was like very glitchy when I was trying to purchase it. I don't know if it was like a problem with the site or they were like trying to uh, keep people from buying it or whatever, but I got it in, in time, and unfortunately that sort of worked against me. So I sort of have to wait on it. I'll get it eventually, though. I was able to find a copy of the limited edition of uh, the entire Melancholy DVD series. So I have the entire show on Blu-ray now, which is very, very cool because I adore that show. It is my it was my favorite anime at one point, but then One Piece eventually took over. It's the anime that got me into anime. That's, uh, that's de a definite thing that I could say. And I owe a lot to it. I know it's like not everyone's cup of coffee or whatever. It is not a show for everyone, but I do feel like it is one of the most influential anime shows, one that I think everyone should experience. Uh, another smash egg. Mario gets a level up. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got, okay, kind of decent. That looks pretty good. Uh, you know, I, I said I was neglecting stash. Let's go ahead and do stash three, okay. And Luigi gets to level 10. Is he, like, behind on a level? It's kind of funny, because he's Luigi. And 4 on the stash. Very, very nice. Getting them discounts. Uh, we got anything, nothing up here that we can do right now. Uh, just gotta go ahead and find that blue block, and we'll be good to go. Was, wait, what did the green block even do for us? Looks like the blue one's over here. Green is here. Were we not able to... I guess we weren't able to do that from before. Really? I guess not. Hmm, well, would you look at that? It actually helped us with progress. I don't know where that spear is coming from, but whatever. We're going to ignore that for now. Head on over here. And I really got to stop making these episodes so stinking long, but we're almost done with this area, so I'll just keep on trucking. And hopefully this will be nice, quick, and easy. Uh, this one's a little bit Ako Taco. You need to spin these around so that you'll be able to uh there you go let's do it like that excuse me I need to fix that real quick uh hit it times and there you go i'm just gonna get one drop of water this time just so i don't keep on wasting time plop it in there and there and there and there and there and there you go uh, just gonna run over here. We're gonna forget about the babies for now. Yeah, we'll down there, like having them with us. Uh, just jump up here. Or not. Nah, I guess you just wait down there. And we activated all three blocks. Very, very nice. Collect the babies. And make our way to the top of the mountain where we will end the episode off. Yes, letting you know in advance in case you need to be prepped beforehand, in case you just oh so despise it or hate it whenever we have to part ways. But don't worry. I always promise that we will see each other again someday in the near future. Possibly tomorrow if I got my editing all sorted out and whatnot. Uh, but maybe not if I am being extra lazy or something like that. Hopefully that is not the case. But anyway, real quick before the, in the episode, we got a new enemy, the Coconutter. Very funny name. Uh, he can actually decide... Uh, he can actually switch his spear from pointing downwards to upwards, so he can make himself immune to spikes if he does that. But other than that, he could... Uh, do a little shot like that at you. You can also just throw your spear from his spear from afar, making it a bit more challenging to dodge the attack because it takes a while to fly across the screen. But other than that, he's pretty easy. And it's just not the easiest thing to dodge his attacks and that you're trying to avoid when starting a battle. But yeah, it looks like that's it for now. We have finished, uh, not really finished anything. We made a good chunk, a good headway into Yoshi's Island, and we're going to end things off right here. Next time on Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, we are going to continue our way up the mountain in search of the monstrous Yube. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.